Green Meadows families and friends, season two is off to a great start. We had a ton of views on Mr. Dowd's video and it even got us over the 500 subscriber mark. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe for the good old YouTube algorithm I know you've all heard about. While you're at it, check out our Green Meadows Apparel Store linked in the description below. You can totally personalize some of your items with your own name or a team you're a part of. Now, let's get back to zooming in with today's guest, Mrs. Wooten. Welcome back, everybody, Green Meadows families and friends. Today we have with us Mrs. Wooten. Um, I know that she's been with us for a few years, and uh, that's probably going to be the first question we're going to ask her. She might have a long answer, but um, I hope that you guys all enjoyed Mr. Dobbs' video last time, and we are so excited to have you back. So uh, with that being said, we would like to introduce Mrs. Wooten. Mrs. Wooten, would you say hi to everybody? Hi, Green Meadows. It's great to have you with us, Mrs. Wooten. We're excited to uh, find out the answers to some of these questions. Um, we're only going to do one Green Meadows question today, but I've got six of the fun ones. So we'll okay. see how those go. Ready for it? I'm ready. All right. So the first question is just about your history at Green Meadows. Uh, the question is, what grade do you teach at Green Meadows? And have you taught any other grades at Green Meadows? And I'm kind of expecting a little bit longer answer from this one for you. <laughs> All right, so right now um, I'm teaching my sixth year at Green Meadows. I'm teaching fourth grade in a general education classroom, but I haven't always done that. I've had three different jobs here at Green Meadows. <laughs> I started out as a fifth grade general education classroom teacher. I did that for a couple of years. And then I tried special education for fifth grade for a couple of years as well. And then surprise they moved me to fourth grade <laughs> <laughs> you're just a jack of all trades right i am okay well that was pretty simple on the green meadows stuff uh i got some feedback some people wanted more of the fun questions and a little bit less of our green meadows history questions so that's okay that's why we do them all right so let's start with the fun questions our first question kind of relates to Mr. Daub's uh, interview because he said he wanted an endless buffet in the break room. Uh, so this question is, what is the best free food to discover in the break room? Oh, well, it has to be like cookies. <laughs> what, what kind of cookie? Oh, I love like the variety platters that just magically appear in our lounge sometimes. Those are the best. You have to have would... like... A at least some, you know, M&Ms, chocolate chips, the basics. Yeah, I'd agree. Those are pretty nice when they show up. It's, it's hit or miss, but they are a, a nice present that when we get those. Uh, all right. So let's uh, switch gears a little bit then. This one has nothing to do with food. Well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> if you had a warning label, what would yours say? What would your personal warning label be? My personal warning label. That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um warning may get lost <laughs> <laughs> not good with directions no <laughs> if found please return to frankfurt yeah. indiana yes that would be very helpful all right uh i know some people that are very great with um uh directions that have like places that they turn at like turn left there at the church go turn right at the third street you know i am great with road numbers i hate it when people give me landmarks to go by so if i don't have a gps if i don't have my phone i'm lost oh man too much in that digital age mm -hmm. okay um i have not asked this one before i don't think maybe in season one not sure if you could perform in the circus what act would you be oh my goodness uh, do I already have to be good at it? I don't think so. I think it would, could be something that you're just like super excited to be able to do. All right. I would love to be one of the trapeze artists who can do all the fun little flips in the air and walk that really tiny line, like 50 feet up. That sounds awesome. At, in reality, I'd be scared to death, but I would, that'd be cool, right? Yeah. That sounds miserable to me. Uh, heights <laughs> are not my friend um f doing flips probably not in my wheelhouse either but uh that's why it's your future circus act and that's my, not mine um okay how about if you had a time machine 
would you go back in time or would you visit the future and why? Um, hmm, that is tough. I would probably go back in time. I really like history. Um, I would love to see some of just the main events that have really shaped America. I always teach about them and I would love to be able to go back in time and be like, guys, I was there. I know what happened. That'd be really cool. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, I would probably choose the same thing. Yeah. I I don't need to see the future. It's time already escapes us quickly enough. So let's go back and see some things that have already happened and learn from them. Right. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Okay. Uh, how about what is your favorite app on your phone? Mm, My Kindle app. A reader we have. Yes. And do you use it daily or is it something that you use when you are finally get some free time or what are we looking at? So it's like my self care. I make sure to do it daily. I, um, I set a annual like book, um, goal right now. My annual goal is 85 books. I am reading books, 55, 56, and 57 right now. I would say you're on par to make it by (laughs) December 31st. That sounds good. (laughs) Yeah. It's a lofty goal, uh, especially when you're busy teaching and you have your own kids and all of those things going on back there. Speaking of lofty goals, don't forget you have to be ready for Halloween this year, right? Um, Oh yeah. (laughs) I don't know if I can top my costume last year. (laughs) Um, Yeah. uh, What, what types of things do you like, do you enjoy to read on your Kindle? Ooh, I like sci-fi. So even though I want to go in the past, I actually do like to read about futuristic things. Um, I am a really big, like magical uh, fantasy universe as well. And I love, I just love all that to be able to be in a different kind of world. It's super fun. It's a nice break. Yeah. I'd say it makes you sound kind of balanced. Do you like the history, but you like to read the sci-fi and and the futuristic stuff. So yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good balance. Keeps you, keeps you right in the middle. There we go. I like that. Um, I know I said I had six questions. I misspoke. We only had five of the fun questions, but we do have a final question. And this is the same question that I ask everyone. Um, It's just, is there anything that you would like to say to families or students that we have that are watching or anybody that they're sharing this video with? What, what would you like to say to those people? I just like to say thank you. Thank you for sharing your kids with us. Thank you for being a kid here at Green Meadows. I know that time is so precious and I love being able to spend the majority of the day doing what I love most with the kiddos I love most. I'd agree with that. Yeah. We get to spend all the time with these kids and we get to love on them when their parents aren't around them and we get to teach them new skills and they can teach us new skills sometimes too. So um, yeah. Great message. Um, It was a pleasure to have you today. Uh, Thanks for giving us all of your input on these questions. And I hope that uh, all of our students and families really enjoy watching it. And we're excited to see who comes up next for our secret staff member next week. Yeah. Well, thank you again. And uh, we'll let our families see the video shortly and excited to to see the results. Bye, Mrs. Wooten. Bye. That was scary. (laughs) Was it intense? (laughs) Get out the questions first. No, that makes it yes. so much easier on people. It has to be a surprise because then it's like a real answer.